Greetings and welcome to the Wednesday Morning Vodcast Podcast. It's fucking pudding time. Let's raise one up to God. Praise Jeebus. Good morning, all you Billy Bumblers out there. Boy, this has been a, a couple of days, let me tell you. First of all, I want to start by saying it is such a huge relief to finally have and be happy with the Oreo versus Hydrox. Um, I'd wanted to do it for a very, very, very long time. Now it's done. And you don't, I can't even begin to explain to you. And I know it's weird. Like, I have 152 subscribers. That's a new one this week, by the way. And, um... I guess, I guess it's the best way to treat a channel like this. Like, it's fun. It's casual. But I want it to be professional, and I want people to like it. It's not like I don't want people to watch it. I want subscribers. When you reach a 1,000 on YouTube, you can, you know, monetize and, and not necessarily make a ton of money. But I've always heard that the first 1,000 is the hardest to make. So that's why I'm really making this push. It's the, the road to a 1,000. You're going to start seeing little logos up here for the road to 1,000. And if I can get to a 1,000 before... I turn 49, then I will do a road to 50. Otherwise, I'm not doing a road to 50. So it's all on you guys. Get out there and share this thing. And if, if we get to 1,000, then we'll see a road to 50. Can you believe we're even talking about that yet? I mean, I just turned 46, so we, I'd like to believe we've got a long, long ways to go. It's funny, when I look at houses, which I do a lot online, uh, and I see a house built in 75, I'm like, holy shit, that house is new. <laughs> I... <clears throat> Honestly, I feel like this house that we live in now was built in 51, and when we moved here, I really felt like it was new. <laughs> we came from a house that was nearly 200 years old, and shit was falling apart. This is a scatterbrain episode because I can't focus right now, but I really wanted to sit and talk because I don't know if I'm going to have another opportunity today because I have a lot of, you know, day-to-day -day stuff that has to get done. I did get my Lynchburg Does work done, which is a huge step. As soon as I get that... In, I was so far behind on doing the archival stuff. Not like you care about this, and, and I don't blame you. So when I sat here and I thought about what I wanted to talk about this morning, um, I knew I wanted to do a Let's Get Racist episode later this afternoon, but I don't really have enough information to put together an episode, and I don't want to keep them so few and far between that people grow disinterested in it. Um, it seems like that has been the most popular videos that I put out. I'm still getting comments and, and messages about the um, the CRI genetics DNA test. I'll put it up in the card over here. I figure uh, that maybe that's a good one to focus on, and, and maybe it's the best series to focus on. But what I wanted to touch on today is uh, last time we left our faithful hero, Jason Oliveira, he was making a phone call. And don't get excited. I haven't received any phone call back. I, I honestly, I didn't expect to. Not that, not that they don't care. Maybe they don't know, or maybe they think I'm just looking for money. I know a lot of people do that. Um, but we have taken another step. My godfather is still alive. He's 87 years old, and he's living in Brockton, Massachusetts. And I have a friend. You, you guys know her. She's been on here before. You know, maybe once or twice. In little clips. She loves spiders. Jess, she lives 10 minutes away from him. Um, so I sent her a letter while well, I emailed her text that she could print out and put on a letter and put in his mailbox. Um, if, this, if it's him, I mean, maybe he's too old to care at this point. I, I don't know why he left my life in the first place. Like, um, I do remember him very, very briefly. And I do remember my parents sending me to stay at his house a few times because he had kids around my age. or I, I don't know the whole story because I don't remember. And that's why I'm reaching out to him. But I really hope, I mean, I feel like I'm running out of people that I can actually contact. And, and I mean, Ancestry.com was a help to provide names that may or may not be the people I think they are, but I can't confirm it. And I know I can, I can reach out to those people, but not all those people allow you to reach out to them. It's not like it's an open, you know, book. You can just turn to the page and be like, da -da, hey, Louie, what's going on? But yeah, um, as far as I can tell, you know, my brother David is already dead. David Oliveira. Um, not David, Paul. 
Paul Oliveira, but he had a son, Paul, um, who I believe is dead as well. I think he died in 98 in California. I can't remember. There's so many names. I'm so confused at this point. I'm not going to drag on about it, but I just wanted to give you guys that little heads up. Like, I have his address, I have his phone number, and I, you know, at least my godfather is still within reach. Hopefully he takes the effort to reach out back to me, because otherwise I don't know where I'm going to turn next. I don't know that it even matters. But now it's it, it's really got me, you know, it's got, I, I've got my, like, detective hat on now. I always wanted to be, like, I would have been a police officer if I could skip the whole bullshit street cop thing. Like, I always wanted to... I always felt like I had an eye for things like that. Like, I don't know. I've never done one of those rooms, but I feel like I'd be really good at them. Like, I don't know. I guess it's the years and years of playing Dungeons and Dragons and having to write riddles and, and mysteries and puzzles that it kind of puts you in in the shoes of another person, or not another person, I don't want to say, another position. Like, you get to be the criminal and the hero. You get to be the king and the warlord. You know, there's always both sides and and when you're writing like that you need to be inside the heads of both of those people so you kind of learn to to kind of go outside your comfort zone a lot more i think so you guys should all become dungeon masters i will give my lessons for three hundred dollars a lesson and that's 15 minute lessons so you know god everything hurts and i'm dying something's right here every now and again it's right here. What time is it? Who are you people? Where am I? It, it's every morning, like when I get up, like right here, it just burns. Like, not, I guess it's heartburn. I don't know. But I don't know why it's water that does it. All I do is drink water in the morning. I usually don't eat until, I don't know, 1, 2 o'clock maybe. And then I might eat supper, a light supper. I've whittled down my need for sleep and the amount of food my body needs. Maybe that's why I'm in pain and dying. <laughs> I don't know. So speaking of Oreos, um, Rick, uh, the gentleman, my friend who sent me the, um, the Hydrox cookies, asked me a question. I thought it, it provoked, I thought it provoked a reason to film another review for the Hydrox Oreo thing. Uh, it wouldn't be as in depth as the other one, but he said, do you think, by the time you get through the six packages of Hydrox cookies, which that's a lot of fucking cookies, man. Um, you're going to like them as much as you did during the review. And I said, you know what? Maybe in a month I'll do another review and see if they're just as delicious or not. So if you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below. Below me. Below me. The comments below me. I think I'm going to have my son do... I think I'm going to have my son Griffin do the carrot cake Oreo comparison with me. I can I can see it in him. He's got the spark he wants to just unleash, but it's it, it is a little nerve wracking at first. People people come up to me and they're like, "I can't believe you can do that. I can't believe you can do that and sit and talk." And I'm like, "I was born to do this. I was made for this. Um, sitting and talking is my favorite thing now. If I could, you know, drink coffee, then I would drink a coffee as well, but." Maybe I should just start drinking black coffee. I have a few packages coming today um, that I, one of them in particular, I think you guys will find of interest. It has something to do with the new show that I'm working on, uh, the new podcast with my friend Frank and Corey. It's called High from Space. Um, the show has a theme and uh, we're going to get together tomorrow night instead of tonight and talk about it a little bit more. Uh, uh, we've got a real game plan in mind now. Um, and I'm still shooting for June uh, to have some stuff in the can, at least, that we can actually edit and put out. But um, it's one of those things where we're probably going to hold back a little bit so that we can have a small catalog before we release it. Maybe even do the whole first season and then, you know, release them once, once a week or something like that. Yeah. What the fuck is going on here? Well, I'm going to let you guys go for the morning, and there'll be a good chance that I'll be back with something later this afternoon, whether it be an unboxing or the carrot cake comparison. Um, and Grayson, of course, is more than welcome to come in on that, too. 
But if you guys are loving watching and listening to these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Did I mention sharing the video? I'd really like to get to a thousand, and I could use the help. So if anybody, anybody's listening, anybody, share this with a loved one if you enjoyed it. Maybe not this one. Look at another video. Go back to the CRI genetics one. That's a great one to share. It's, it's informative. It's shocking. Well, you guys take care of each other out there, and don't forget to make somebody smile today. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Ha, 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 ha.